What up, what up, what up, YouTube, what up? It's your boy Mike Dub, AKA DJ Mike Dub. On today's video, we're gonna to attempt to install my ape hangers. Now, this might be a little challenging because these apes are supposed to go on a 2015 up road glide. I got a 2010 road glide. So the bar diameter isn't the same as the factory bar diameter. So I'm gonna to try to change out the clip I'm also gonna change out the bushings, the urethane bushings. I'm gonna change out the factory and swap them out for some heavy duty, heavy duty urethane bushings because apes allow for more leverage and the factories are real like, they got, they're thin and they have give to them. So we're gonna do a thicker urethane bushing, change out the clips and install the ape hangers. I hope. Now we might run into some roadblocks due to the fact that, again, I got 2010 road glide, I got Bars from a friend that sells them for a really good price for 2015 up road glide. So we're just gonna see if I can make it happen. Check it out. Oh, before we get started, if you have it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, turn on the notification bell, or slide the notification indicator over so you'll be notified when I put up my next video. Let's go. Um, we got the back end fixed. It was a subframe. I think I already told you in the last video. Now we're going to work on the bars. So I already got the ignition off. The bad part about it was, is I got it out of alignment. So I know all it takes is an alignment key and another mechanic said he uses a screwdriver. So I don't know. I might pay him to fix it or I might take it back to Harley so they can use the alignment key to fix it. But either way, I'm going to take off the clutch and the brake, breaking the clutch, and then unscrew both bolts from this and take this off and see uh, if my new clamp, take the bars off basically, and then see if the new clamp will fit on the bike. Be back in a minute. All right, so I got this much busted down. I didn't know you had to take the screws out the side right here, um, but you can just kind of break it apart to get it off. Now I gotta um, take these loose. These are like Allen hex keys. And then um, I guess I gotta unplug the wires. I don't see, most bikes, there's a wire harness thing right here, but I don't see that, so hold on. All right, what's up, ladies and gents, YouTube? Um, we're back. I don't know how many days later this is, but I took everything apart. And at first, I couldn't feel how to get to the bolt up under here to unscrew the clamp. Um, okay, so why I didn't take the clamp off? Two reasons. The bar I'm going with is this, these go for a 2015 and up. So this is a one and a quarter inch round um, bar right here. Uh, the 14 inch um, apes. Um, and to put those on, I would need to change the clip. So here are the brake lines extended. Um, I think these are, these are six inch overstock. These are a separate risers. I got, basically I got two different clamps. And why I did that because these will work for sure. No doubt about it. Man, I'm in 
Okay. All right. So this will work for sure. Um, they're one inch risers. Um, and this one. Alright, so here's the other one. This is the one I ultimately want to put on the bike um, because it has the Allen wrench screw downs to make sure that the bars don't move. Um, but this goes for a 2015 up bike. So my only concern is it fitting around this the switch. Um, it looks like it's going to fit around. So if this works, then I'll send the black ones back. If this doesn't work, then I'll use the black ones. Um, the 2015 is in two parts. So when I take this off, it's two individual pendulums um, or podiums or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I got to change the urethane bushings to the factory. Hold up. Oh, these are the urethane bushings. They're much... Um, Stiffer than the factory, so when you put on apes and you pull them back, excuse my messy garage, my daughter moved back in and half of that's hers. But anyway, um, when you're pulling back on the bars, these rubber bushings they give, hell, they're giving with these bars on here. So, um, yeah, so anyway, um, back to the beginning of what I was saying, when I reach my hand up under here, I don't feel anything no nuts it's just a flat black surface but if you turn the bars all the way to lock um you feel the nut or the bolt coming through and you can unscrew it so um obviously i guess i'm gonna have to put maybe i might have to put a bolt back together to push these back these two back together for a second to loosen this um and I also need to take off, which I've already done, take off all the bolts to the front fairing and lift this off so I can unplug the wiring for the bars. I got the wire extension kit too. It's in the house, but I'll show you how to do that. It's um, it's a plug and play, not really a plug and play, it's clip. So I have to use a little needle nose, I don't know, like a needle, like, let me think about, let me see. So I use, use this right here to push into the grommet to release each individual wire. And then you just push the new wire, the extension onto the old wire, and then push it back into the housing of this right here. So I'll show you all that when we get there. But for right now, what I'm gonna do is um put the bolt back on the here on one on each side so i can completely turn the bars to full lock so i can unbolt the clip take off the uh, fairing undo the wires and pull the bars out we should be good to go so i'll be back in a minute all right so i got the uh front fairing off and I got the handlebars, the whole clamp loose. So now I'm gonna take the screws back out of here from this cluster cover, a wire cover, whatever, so I can find the wires that are coming out. So I know exactly which one is on plug, I'm sure. Right. This one and that one, but I'll find exactly which one it is and lift the whole bars out. And uh, next thing we'll be doing is uh, taking the wires and pulling them through the bars and fishing them back through the new bars. Yep. All right, so I got the handlebars off and I got one side of the bushings man these are really like flimsy and cheap um you gotta use well i use some and i gotta do the other side of course i use some um 
vice grips to pull this side off and that left the barrel and the underside and then I just used a ratchet and a mallet to just push it through and it came off. So then um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new ones, the new bushings in and then there's the bars over there. And then I'm gonna do one side at a time, take off the wires and then put them through the new bars. But I'm gonna do that in the house, I'll show y'all in a second. But uh, I'm gonna get the other side off and then put the new bushings on so at least that part will be done, the bushings. I wish I could show more, but um, I'm doing the work and the filming, so it's kind of hard to do both. And I don't have a tripod for my phone. But here's, I already did this side. You just, it come, there's a lip on here where you can grab it with the vice grips and then pull on. So loosen one side, then you get the vice grips and loosen the other side, and you pull and you see it's off. And then. Um, I'll use a pull bar to push right on here and then I'll just use a mallet to tap it through. Oh. Let's see, I just used my hand. Oh, I got it. So I got it locked full as you see it. Now I got to turn the whole wheel to the other side. So hold up. Okay, so it fell through. Um, I don't know what I did with the other, the top side of the bushing, but whatever. Um, just to show you the comparison of what was in there versus, this sucks doing it. All right, so here are new bushings, way stronger. These will give, so you'll feel your handlebars give. This metal piece feels thicker. Yeah, so it's probably gonna be a pain in the ass to get in there, but once I get it in there, I'm good. So let me see how hard this is gonna be. All right, so I got the new bushings in. Um, they're hanging a little bit lower on the bottom than I want, but no worries because when I put the bolt back through them and tighten it up, it's going to force it to go all the way back in the hole. Now the steering, the, the tire moves freely on the triple trees. I can just feel that they're not, oh, well, I can't feel anything right now because there's a plate right there, but I can tell that they're not all the way flushed up against from the bottom, but I know that once I tighten it, it, it is moving back in place. But uh, this isn't gonna work because of this switch housing, this particular clamp. Um, I mean, it's, it's a little bit off. I could probably go somewhere and get this machined off, but I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna just use, use these. on there and uh, everything should turn out cool. I mean, they're black anyway. I just wanted those Allen wrench keys on. Uh, where's it at? Uh, it's the bottom. I wanted the Allen wrench nuts on here to help keep the bars in place when I put them on, but oh well, I'll send those back. No problem, I gotta screw them back together or whatever. Um, these are the new plates that go on the top and the bottom of the new. Um, bushings. So now it's time for the wiring. So I'll meet y'all in the kitchen. Well, so I got the housing back on. I was gonna to to take all this apart anyway to put the bushings in. Um, but these are too high. I don't wanna cut this because then I'm gonna probably mess around with my cruise control and my ace, 
mugs, accessories, whatever that is. Um, I thought about getting this one modified, but this is gonna sit This is gonna bump up against that, that piece right there too. So I have to get, yeah, I would mess with the integrity. I would have to mess with the integrity of this screw hole. So nope, that ain't gonna work. So what I'm gonna have to do is send all that stuff back and find some 14 inch apes that will fit on a one inch clamp. That There's just no room for error in here, none. Um, I mean, No space. They used up every nick and cranny, and then any other any other riser would be too high. And I've seen guys use those T-bar risers and all that stuff. And I don't. I guess you have to change out that whole housing, and it just ain't that serious. I can find me some uh, one-inch some apes for this year bike for 2014 down. Um, I was just trying to use the ones that my buddy had, wanted to sell me um, for a good price. I was gonna get these for like $150, but I can't use them. So I'm not to send all those clamps and stuff back. But at least I got the brake lines and the clutch lines and I don't know. So back to the drawing board. You yeah. sometimes you gotta break that thing down to build it back up. New radio coming. New speakers. New apes. New glove box covers. I already got the fender, just going to get it painted. New bags coming. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta break that thing down and bring it back up. If you got the time, the knowledge is out there. All you gotta do is go out there and look for it. They'll, they'll show you how to do it. You just gotta be willing to do it, put in the work. It ain't nothing. I'm going to get that 23 to wrap around Fender 2. Yeah.